this is Kitty Owens. I'm a live our truth, speak our truth. As you all know, I'm not one who do interviews or who does interviews with people, but I have a very special guest and client here, Kunji, who has been in the hat hunting business for a long, 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 long time. And I feel that there's something special about her. As I say, you know, this work life, this personal life, but at the end of the day, it's all one life. It is the same truth that we're speaking and living with. So because of that, I want to make use of this opportunity to highlight Kunji, you know, to really help her to speak out her truth and to share her passion and how she actually does what she does and why she loves it so much. Because for me, it's always very interesting and inspiring to get a better understanding of why people do what they do. Because at the end of the day, we're all here helping each other to build a community. So welcome today, Kunji. Thank you very much for having me today. Kate. My pleasure, my pleasure. So we have a few questions lined up for Kunji. The first one, tell us Kunji, you know, how did you get involved with headhunting? Well, it's quite a story, but I'm happy to tell you. First, I mean, it starts since I was young. I love English language very much because one day I would like to work with expat manager in international company. So I went to the UK studying uh, my education. Okay. Upon my return, I got a job uh, and first boss was a Jewish. It was really challenging in the beginning because mm -hmm. I have to adapt and learn to get used to the way he worked and uh, how to work with him okay. smoothly. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, quite a challenge in the beginning but then later I uh, believe that I did quite well because he gave me a very good ev uh, evaluation at the end. Mm. A couple of years later I would like to to get a new challenge and I came across this job advertisement. Okay. Very interesting. I mean it was a, a trading company looking for a PA or a slash account, uh, office manager mm. reporting directly to the owner who's a Danish. Okay didn't mention anything about the background experience required, only said, if you think you're good, come for a job interview. Immediately, <laughs> I was on the phone, uh -huh, get myself a, 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 an appointment, went for a job interview, secure a seat as one of the top three finalists. If you think you're good, <laughs> listen to this. If you think yeah. you're good. Shortly after that, I get a call directly from the owner. He told me that, well, I was his most preferred candidate. Wow. Right, because of my determination and uh, the attitude. That's what he he, he he thinks that he's looking for. But unfortunately, he said he can't really give me a job offer because I was too young. Oh my goodness. So you think you're good, but you're too young. So what happened in the end? Uh, but he said, you know what? He would like to ask if he can pass on my uh, he, uh, number to his friends because mm -hmm. his friends just uh, set up company and looking for somebody with my attitude and the level of energy that wow. I Wow. Okay. I said, yeah, why not? Give it a try. Mm. So I had this uh, interview with this uh, gentleman. We had a very interesting discussion. Mm -hmm. I learned about that uh, he was a managing director of international company, decided to quit a job and set up a business in which he has no experience before. Oh my goodness. Okay. Right. Really interesting, I mean, to learn to learn from him and the way why he decided to do so. Then at the end, he said it's rare to find any uh, uh, somebody with uh, such a determination to success in a young lady like me. Mm -hmm. Then he asked whether I'm interested to be a headhunter. Then I said, mm, I'm not really knowing what is it all about. Mm -hmm. But then I really admire somebody who has a uh, willingness. Uh, to set up a company mm. uh, in which that he has no experience, but from talking to him, I can I can uh, get that he is very smart and he's a risk taker, but very uh, calculated risk taker because coming from a totally different side of the of the table, from being a service buyer to now being a service provider, mm. he can see the opportunity that he can actually leap from and then get hold of the, the, the opportunity there and add value to the client. Mm. So I think that was well, something that I am interested in and that must be something I can learn. And that's the reason why I decided to say yes and would like to try. 